Hi, Lifetime audience. This is Elizabeth Rome, and I am so excited to go live with you tonight, wherever you may be, um, before the incredible, hopefully you'll love it, premiere of The Girl in the Basement. Um, it's my directorial debut. I couldn't be happier and more grateful to Lifetime and to Tanya Lopez and everybody in my Lifetime family for creating this opportunity. But more importantly, I can't wait to introduce you guys. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, I'm so happy to be going live here at Lifetime and to bring on the amazing Stephanie Scott, who's the star of the film, along with Judd Nelson and Jolie Fisher and an incredible ensemble cast of actors. Um, so I hope you guys will tune in. You guys are going to be watching. I'm just checking in with all of you Lifetime fans. Thank you for the congratulations. I really appreciate it. Um, we've been promoting the movie a lot and we're so excited to share it with you. It's so different um, sharing it with a few people, um, you know, as opposed to the night it comes out. So we are so grateful to the fans of Lifetime for supporting the movie and um, getting out there and, and DVRing it and watching it and telling your friends about it. And so if you're on the West Coast, you have lots of time to still spread the word. If you're on the East Coast, um, get out there, watch it. I, so somebody's saying, yes, they're spreading the word. You like Lifetime movies. Okay, great. We'll watch Girl in the Basement tonight with Stephanie Scott and Judd Nelson and Jolie Fisher. You saw my film, Family Pictures. Did you like it? I loved making that movie. Justina Machado is an amazing actress and she's a dear friend now after making that movie. So I'm thrilled that you liked it. Um, Stephanie Scott is going to join me and we're going to talk about making Girl in the Basement and celebrate premiere night with you guys. Good. I'm so glad that you set the DVR. Thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, you, as I said to the cast and to the crew, you only have one first and I will always be grateful. This will be an indelible imprint on my heart having my first film and the support of the Lifetime family and Tanya Lopez and all of the execs and Manu Boyer, who is the creative executive producer, Pierre Luigi Malavasi, who's the cinematographer, and of course our incredible stars, Stephanie Scott, Judd Nelson and Jolie Fisher and the awesome ensemble of actors that supported them. Emma Myers, breakout star, who's playing the daughter of Stephanie Scott in the film. So I'm just waiting for Stephanie to join. Um, I hope you guys are doing great wherever you are. Yes, Lifetime is the best. Not only the best because they make great movies, but because they have this incredible program where they really walk the walk and they support female filmmakers to step into the captain's seat. The broader focus program is amazing um, and has started first time directors like Demi Moore and Angela Bassett, Kira Sedgwick and, um, and Stephanie. Stephanie Scott is in the house. You guys are going to be blown away by her performance. Hello. Hello. I'm just sitting here riffing with the Lifetime fans, you know, just talking to myself. <laughs> I was like, listening in. I was actually in here listening, well, <laughs> waiting for my request well, to be accepted. Will you turn your, your camera so it's um, the other direction? You. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me try this. You guys, this is Stephanie Scott. I know you're going to flip out when you see her starring in this movie. Are you so excited? Oh, I'm very excited. I'm sorry. I'm trying to set up my camera. Um, no, that's okay. Everybody's saying they can't wait to watch tonight. Um, they keep seeing the commercials. They're so excited. Um, somebody here is, I love you, Stephanie. But not as much as I love you, Stephanie. I was saying, I was saying to the fans who are with us now that you only get one first, and you are my first, which makes you my truest, my true, my my truest love. Because making my first movie is just so important to me. Will you turn your volume up? Here's what, I'm just gonna hold my phone, okay? I'm holding, <laughs> I'm holding my phone too. Okay, I 
now I, I can work this a lot better now. I was, I, I was covering the mic. Um, I was saying how grateful I am to have been on this film with you, to be on your first film like that, to have watched you also. I mean, really, I feel like step into such an awesome role as the director, but like, I don't know, it, it was really cool to watch. I mean, you were so passionate about the film, but even over the course of making it, um, watching you grow as a director was like, and being a part of that with you. I mean, it was just great. I, I'll shut up, but it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it will not be our last. I can assure you of that. I cannot wait to make another movie with you. You guys are going to be blown away with the bravery, the beauty, the sincerity, the authenticity, um, the self-love, just the portrayal of this character, this heroic female character at the center of this story. You're so talented, but really, I mean, I think most people would have been terrified to play that part, Steph. It's, you know, but it's the triumph of the will. You really captured lightning in a bottle. You, you, your self-love and your love of your children really gets you through this story. And I think that's, the, that's what everybody needs right now is that hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know how to add to that. <laughs> um, I mean, I really appreciate the kind words. Um, but yeah, I, and I think working on it with you, what was great about it was being very delicate with it, as I know this is, um, you know, inspired by several true stories of things that women have really gone through and are probably still going through right now that people are completely unaware of. And that's terrifying. And um, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, it's, it's really hard to speak about these things, I guess, especially having never experienced that, thank God. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm happy that we got to be delicate with it as well. Um, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think I, I, a lot of people are saying, what are we talking about? So we're talking about Girl in the Basement pre premiering tonight, 8 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Central, starring this beautiful, phenomenal actress, Stephanie Scott. It's called Girl in the Basement. Guys, tune in, watch it. I know you love Lifetime movies. We hope that we blow your mind and this is the best Lifetime movie you've ever seen. Um, because of the sensitivity of the topic, but also the performances. And uh, I hope that I elegantly got out of the way of your beautiful performance because your performance speaks for itself. It really, um, it didn't need to be dominated cinematically, you know? You just really held that space of survival and in the end, it's a happy, happy story. You get out. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. Um, yeah, and it was great to also because um, if people don't know, you're, you get to be in the movie as well in the beginning and end. And it's kind of cool because as you were the director and kind of like, uh, well, maybe I should, I don't know how to say it, but like the, I, I was going to say like have the motherly vibes of being there for everybody during this process. Right. I just want to say like the mother because I, because you were all, I, mean, I don't know, you were like the boss mom, whatever. But like because <laughs> at the end as well, you're the one who's there for her um to help her out of that experience as well it's it's kind of cool that you got to be that character yeah um, and so great at it too i mean you only had one take of all of your shots and like i was watching it so like, oh, dang she really brought it that was awesome it looked so good <laughs> there was something very satisfying um to to being the person that you escape to and that gets you free essentially um everybody is asking if you're the girl in the basement yes, yes you are the girl in the basement um and one of the things that stephanie and i've been talking a lot about is how pressed we are with lifetime making movies that are just not movies but movements and being aware of the type of content that this film is about um we are offering information on the organization rain r-a-i-n-n for anybody that's experiencing abuse or incest, it is the largest national anti-sexual violence organization in the country. And also hang in there after Girl in the Basement. There's a documentary afterwards about some true stories um, that we hope will be impactful for, the, for you guys. Does anybody have any questions about Stephanie and the film and all that? Can you see the comment stuff? Yes. I can see a few. Um, they say, are we going to be able to watch this in the UK? You know, I never really understand how to answer that because I think it's that the different international markets get these movies at different times. So this is premiere night here 
in the United States. Um, 8 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Central. And Judd Nelson is the father in this film. Mm -hmm. Yes. Judd is very convincing. Somebody said, oh, Fern Champion is here. Fern Champion is oh, in the hello. house, the casting director of this movie. Hello, Fern. Look at your Stephanie Scott. She's a movie star. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to answer this question, Steph? What inspired sure. us to make this movie? Sure. Um, I mean, for me, it was my first meeting with you and your passion to make this project the way that you did. Again, being very aware and wanting to make it grounded and present and not... Um, I, I, it's a very dramatic story and it is inspired by true events. So I, I really appreciated the way you wanted to go about it and also the life that you were going to bring to it. Um, how you get to see every part of Sarah from before it happens to after it happens and, and you know, her love story at the same time and how that can be what gets you through so many things. Um, yeah, I feel like that was, was what really got me excited about it was you. <laughs> Oh, but you're gonna make me. It. You're gonna make me emotional. <laughs> I have to say, I've seen this movie five thousand times, so I will not be watching it tonight. Okay. I, although I'm DVRing it, um, mm -hmm. but honestly, from the bottom of my heart, from the top of my head to the tips of my toes, every ounce of my being, I I wanted you as the actress for this movie, Fern Champion, our casting director, who's here, who casts a lot of Lifetime movies. She'll attest to this. I wanted you, only you. And you were just such a great collaborator. You were such a great partner. Um, and I just, you know, it's emotional for me. I've done a million movies, but I've never directed one. And to be able to have that relationship with you and just absorb you and watch you, I just have to say um, there, something went terribly wrong on set. And... Uh, this is something you never want to happen. Basically the whole schedule had to shift and Stephanie was doing incredible scenes that were very emotional and um, we needed to change scenes on you. Do you remember without you. saying everything, every detail? And I wanted to protect you because being an actress, I thought that's not your fault. You didn't, you don't have to prepare scenes, you know, like right in the moment, but you said, no, I'm going to do it. I'm, you know, this, I'm, I'm living and breathing this part. And you literally, you did. You did the whole entire day, all these other things you hadn't prepared. I mean, you're a consummate professional. I mean, you're a natural talent, but you're a consummate pro. I felt so confident being able to go hand in hand with you and make this movie together. Thank you. I mean, I felt confident too because of you. Good team. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but anyway, with, without crying publicly in front of everybody here, I will just say thank you. I guess this is my chance to say thank you. I can't be with you where you are. You can't be with me where I am. But, I wish. Um, that'd, be, that'd be awesome. I wish we were having champagne celebrating. Yes. That would be great. Your fans are going nuts for you. They're saying Stephanie's a great actress. Um, they're so excited to watch this movie tonight. Lifetime's the bomb. You have so many fans, Stephanie. I hope that the millions of viewers who watch Girl in the Basement tonight um, are your fans for life. You deserve everything. You deserve <laughs> everything, you. honestly. I, we, Fern and I were saying that to your manager. You are just, you're, you're a superstar, really. Wow, well, thank you. I, I very much appreciate it. Thank you for making it such a great experience and a great space to work. And um, yeah, to, to do this, it was awesome. Aww. Are you gonna watch it with family? Are you? Huh? I am. I'm gonna watch it with my. I'm gonna watch it with my parents. So, <laughs> um, that'll be interesting. It's you know quite an intense movie. So it'll be. Um, I feel like a little. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll. It's just you know I'm sure not fun to watch your daughter like go through things like that on screen or whatever you know. But, um, you know we'll. <laughs> We'll have commercial breaks. <laughs> Has, we'll have commercial breaks to, to recalibrate ourselves. <laughs> I mean, I see my, yeah. my daughter now after so many decades of me acting. She knows it's all just make-believe. But I was really, you know, this is a tough one. This is a tough one yeah. to watch. Yeah. It, yeah, it definitely is. But we'll, we'll be watching it together. And um, I'm sure they'll they'll love it as well. My mom has already seen it and she loved the movie. Um, I mean, she's she, 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 pacing back and forth the whole time, but you know, she, 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 she,
it was good it was really well done i don't know if she loved it because obviously it's not very like uh you know what I'm trying to say. It's like, it's hard. It's hard. It's All right. So tell every, give everybody a little bit of a, you know, spin pitch on what the movie is. I mean, they're already, they're already saying we're giving them spoilers. This is Stephanie Scott, the star of Girl in the Basement. What's Girl in the Basement about? Um, a Girl in the Basement is a story of Sarah, who, um, she's about to turn 18. She has a boyfriend, but she's a very controlling father. And, um, she she wants to get away. She's planning on getting away, and he tricks her and locks her into a basement where she spends about 24 years of her life. And it is ripped from the headline story, so it's inspired by several true cases, actually. Um, and that's the basis of the story. We haven't really given anything away that isn't already out there because... Um, I think it's, yeah, it's pretty obvious from the, from the commercial. Yeah, it's that you get a long time, basement. yeah. Right. It's, a long, it's a very, very excruciating long time. But um, that's, I feel like, a very simple premise of the, of the movie. Um, yeah. Anything else that you, <laughs> that I missed? Yeah, no, I, I, I think it, like you said, it's inspired by true events. It's not about a particular case. Um, it's inspired by several unfortunate circumstances. Um, it's tough stuff, you guys. We're not going to lie. It's really tough. It's about... Um, some really hard topics, but it is a story of hope. It's a story of faith. It's a story of Stephanie's faith in herself. Um, and she becomes a mom under duress and terrible circumstances, but they fill her heart with love. And she, you know, she has, you know, she finds a way to, to, to have hope and maintain her innocence and her, her love of herself and her children so that she can make it out of this horrific experience. Um, so I hope that it's inspiring for all of you guys to watch it, um, even though it is challenging. And um, at the end of the film, there's going to be a short documentary about some true life cases that are similar to this film. Um, do you, did you love um, recording an original song for this movie, my love? I did. It was really, really great. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, Jake Etheridge plays... Uh, Chris in the movie and in the film he sings a little bit um and the song we ended up yeah we ended up recording it for the movie as well and it'll be on Spotify and everywhere you can listen to music um he's very talented and I was really excited to sing it with him because I I do love music so it was great oh I'm so excited so basically the male lead opposite Stephanie, who was her love interest in the movie, is a great singer. Go check out Jake Etheridge. Um, he's a great, great singer. And he wrote a song called, what's it called? Wherever I May Go. How could we ever forget that? Wherever yeah. I May Go, because we've heard it for so many months like, now. Quite a few times, yeah. Um, so it is, the, it is a part of the movie. It is a... It's a very important part of the movie. And Jake Etheridge and Stephanie Scott, the star of Girl in the Basement, um, recorded it as a single, and it's going to be released next Friday, right? I believe, yeah, on March 5th, I believe. I'm so excited. That was literally one of my great passions for this film, was that you guys got it's to music. record that. Yeah, I, I'm very, very grateful that that was one of your passions, because I was happy it came to be. It was a great experience. Oh, my gosh. I... I you're such a great singer, and I, I don't know. So for me, the idea that, that we could make also musical history, recording a song, which is the hero song, that really, you know, stays with you through the whole movie, and then eventually it's like the phoenix rising from the ashes, um, yeah. like, like we all do again and again in our lives. And yeah. somehow that song is like, like angel's wings, like carrying you out of those ashes. It's kind of funny how that, that sort of developed while we were making the movie. I don't think it was ever originally as big a part of the script. Um, it was, it kind of slowly became a part of the script and then it kind of became her saving grace um, through, I feel like, a lot of the movie. But it was partly because you guys loved the song so much and then we're like, oh, we should keep like putting it in here and then it turned into a recording. But um, yeah. it, it is kind of funny how I feel like a lot of the movie that happened where it was one way in the script originally, which was kind of a set certain part of events. And then the whole movie kind of developed and all these extra storylines just started growing while we were filming it. It was, it was really cool um, to have that freedom, I feel like, for 
for the story. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, for some reason, you know, in my mind, I thought that the song would become a really big part of the movie. Um, mm -hmm. But you're right, it definitely grew and grew because you and Jake can sing. Um, was this the hardest role you've ever played in your career? Or, or you know, um, you've done some pretty tough stuff? Yeah, I mean, it was everything. It was definitely challenging because of so many of the delicate circumstances. And um, so I, I would say it was challenging in that aspect. And the aging process, um, you know, she has children down there. Um, uh, those are experiences I have yet to have. I, I don't have any kids yet, but. Um, but you sure so play an amazing mom. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very excited to have kids, but um, not yet. Um, but, but yeah, so there's definitely a lot of experiences that I personally haven't had. Um, basically the entire movie, but besides very few things I, I have not experienced in, in a good way. Um, but, but, um, but yeah, I guess, it, I guess it, it was challenging for that reason, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it was, you know, I feel like we created a good environment to film the movie. So it wasn't, um, ever overly strenuous in any type of way like that, or, or hard in that aspect. Like, I feel like we kept a really good mindset and energy on the set. So it was kind of easier to accomplish those things. Well, you make it look easy. You make it look easy and effortless always. I mean, I don't know how you slipped in and out of that character and how you did it just so effortlessly. Um, everybody here is beginning to call it out. 40 minutes till Girl in the Basement premieres Yay! on the East Coast. So all of you guys, if you're on the East Coast, go tell your friends. Um, yeah, I see some of watch. my friends who are on the East Coast who are here, John and Jen. I love you guys. I hope you're watching. Thank you to every one of our friends who's watching on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. And then 8 p.m. Pacific time. And you're, you're, you're central. Yeah, I'm central. So okay. I guess it'll be on in soon. I don't know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's on at 7 here. But I, I, I think it must be 6.30. What, 6 are you going to be, are you going to be tweeting? Or are you going to be texting? Who are you going to be oh, talking I don't to? Know. I don't know if I'll be tweeting. I'll, I will be watching it with my parents while they watch it for the first time. But maybe I'll post a little bit here and there if I can like think of anything to write. I think I'm going to be too, too present. Overwhelmed. Are you gonna? Are you gonna text? Are you gonna text Jake and Emily and? Yeah, and I can't wait to see it and to see. Yeah, uh, I, I for sure. Um, I'm excited to congratulate everybody, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, the congratulations is to you, really. I, I'm scared. I'm about to go direct another movie, and I can't, I, I'm right. worried I'm not going to love the actress as much as I love you. Oh, that's a lie. You'll, you'll, you're going to do great. It's going to be how awesome. Am I gonna, how am I going to top this relationship? It's, un it's just impossible. No, oh, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be awesome, and I'm excited to see that as well. <laughs> Wow. Um, so what's new and what's next for you? Do you want to direct? I know you're a producer, you're a writer. Yeah. You want to direct, uh, direct as well. I would love to direct as well. Um, right right now, I have a, a movie that will probably come out. I, I, don't, I can't even tell you when, to be honest. But on the Sooner side, it's called The Last Thing Mary Saw. And um, other than that, I will let you know when I can let you know. But um, that's... What I got going on. And yeah, and that song comes out, which is kind of cool as well. That'll be out on March 5th, which is great. And what is that? The song or the movie? Oh, the movie is, uh, the song is coming out March 5th. Yeah, that comes out, I think, March 5th. And then, yeah, I have a film probably coming out later this year or at some point, pro probably 2021. Um, are, you, are you participating in pilot season or are you just focused on other things? Yeah, I mean, I'm always auditioning, and um, I'm excited about whatever, like, you know, works out. It's kind of a weird business. <laughs> it's a weird life, I guess. You know, you never really know what's happening until it's happening. So kind of just, you know, let things happen, I guess. Well, like so many of my favorite directors, they work always with the same cast. So I'm going to ask you publicly in front of all these people, will you work with me again? Yeah, are you kidding? Okay, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, of course I would. Um, okay, so shout it out, call it out, Steph. Tell everybody about the movie that you're starring in coming out tonight. Now it's going to be in 35 minutes in, on the East Coast. And tell everybody, tell everybody. Yeah, Girl in the Basement premieres at 87 Central on Lifetime. Um, please watch. It's a 
it's a, I mean, it's a very intense story, but um, I am really proud of Lifetime for incorporating um, the documentary after the film, as well as info on rain for anybody who needs help or are in situations that are not ideal um, and, and should not be happening. Um, but yes, it's, uh, it's coming out tonight. It's called Girl in the Basement, inspired by true events. And um, yeah, I hope you try to enjoy it. <laughs> Yeah, we hope you guys will watch it. Follow yeah, sure. Stephanie on her Instagram. What's your Instagram account? It's my name, Stephanie Scott. And I'm, I'm at Elizabeth Rome. And thanks, oh, Lifetime, for letting us take over your Instagram account and supporting yes. us so much. The publicity department, the social media department um, with, <laughs> with Lifetime has been so supportive of our movie, Girl in the Basement. So um, I know from Stephanie and I and everybody involved in, in the film, thank you so much, you guys, to the Lifetime family. We love you. This yes. is a really unique film. Lifetime, as Stephanie said, we're so grateful um, that you were so brave to tell a, tell a story like this. So please tune in, you guys. Message us. Let us know if you, how you feel about the film. And again, if you know anybody that needs help or is suffering in any way like this character in this movie, please go check out Rain, R-A-I-N-N. And, um, and, you know, get that message out there. Okay? Okay. Thank you. I love you, Stephanie. Love you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.